From dropping hints about her cheating ex-husband's affairs to finally giving us a self-love anthem with flowers, here are all the clues Miley Cyrus gave us about Liam's infidelity. As you all know, singers have a knack for writing breakup songs, as well as dragging their exes through the mud, and the wrecking ball singer is no stranger to either. While Flowers made it pretty obvious that her ex wasn't a saint, there were several other songs before this one that highlighted his indiscretions. Maybe we didn't notice because everyone was so in love with the couple, am I right? Everyone kept rooting for a forever and always ending for them. Well, that seems like a child's dream now. Let's get to the part where all fans are sure that the song's about her ex-husband. You know how she mentions building a home and watching it burn? Well, the Malibu house she and Liam shared was burned during the Woolsey fires. The biggest giveaway, though, was the fact that the song was released on his birthday. Coincidence? I think not. It sent the fans into a frenzy, and rumors started to surface that he had cheated on Miley with 14 different women while they were in a relationship. And one of the most obvious names that surfaced was Jennifer Lawrence. While in an interview with Andy Cohen, Lawrence was asked if she had ever kissed her Hunger Games co-actors off screen. She responded that since they grew up together and the guy is hot, what does he think? When the host pushed her further, she admitted that she had indeed kissed him. This was when he was with Miley, so let's be fair, this counts as cheating. And you know what they say, once a cheater, always a cheater. Fans have come up with the theory that the gold dress Miley wore at the start of the song's music video is an imitation of Jennifer's dress, a replica of the one she wore in 2012 at the premiere of Hunger Games next to Liam. Now, there are countless other clues about the actor's cheating episodes in Miley's other songs. Her newly released album, Endless Summer Vacation, exposes his behavior too. In the song, Jaded, she sang about how, rather than finding solutions and acknowledging his faults, he'd leave the house and go to the bar. It indicated that he spent countless nights outside while she was left to worry about him. Fans speculate that he might have been sleeping around with other women, because why else wouldn't he come back to her? The lyrics go like, bones too big to bury. And I guess she realized what was happening. In her song, Muddy Feet, she again dropped hints of his unfaithfulness by talking about the fact that she had smelled other women's perfumes on him several times, and now she understood why the curtains were always closed, which led the fans to speculate that he had even cheated on her in their Malibu house. These hints aren't recent, though. They go back to her Bangers album, which was released in 2013, right after their engagement was called off. In fact, the entire album was inspired by the three-year relationship they shared. She went as far as to purposely adjust the sequence of the songs. On The Ellen DeGeneres Show, the singer admitted that there's a reason why the first song is Adore You and the last is Someone Else. It was to indicate all the emotional phases she went through in the relationship, and that somewhere in the back of her mind she always knew where the relationship was heading. In her song, F.U., she talks about having found things on his phone, meaning that he was cheating on her with other women from the beginning. The lyrics also mention how she knew it was over the moment she saw her name. O.M.G. Was it Lawrence? Because the album came out at the end of 2013 and Liam had begun shooting for Hunger Games in 2012. The timelines match, and fans seem to think the same thing. Wrecking Ball also gave the public a view into how the separation tore Miley apart. It seems it had been a long time coming, and she wasn't shy about making the details public. There was no denying that the song was about her ex. During her performance at the iHeartRadio Music Festival, she got very emotional and choked up, and wasn't able to sing. She told the audience, it never gets easier and it seemed to be true looking at how she seemed, as if she was physically in pain. The relationship had become toxic months before they separated, according to Fashion Magazine. Another song of hers on the album, Drive, was written by her on Valentine's Day, out of all days, while she was still in the relationship. As if that wasn't clue enough to break things off, the message conveyed in the song is how it's too difficult to stay, and at the same time, leaving isn't very easy either when it comes to love. The lyrics go, 
Then what you say forever for? If forever's out the door, I'll ignore when you call. So you can pretty much guess what Miley's hinting at. Her Dead Pets album also indicated some toxic aspects of their relationship. It got released in mid-2015. In the song Space Boots, she hinted that with everything else on her plate, she was also dealing with Liam's sudden mood swings, which made it seem like Hemsworth had anger issues. She also highlighted that she couldn't stay sober long enough to put up with all of it, and it resulted in her blaming herself for all the things that went wrong. It seems like he'd always change the narrative in such a way that every problem was her fault. Like, this is classic gaslighting and you gotta be a horrible human being to do this. The extent of it was so much that even though he ruined her life, a part of her still cared about him. Because in the song, Rooting For My Baby, she hoped that he'd overcome his anger situation and be okay. I Forgive You was another song that recounted Liam's cheating. It talks about how Miley gave him a second chance, but he screwed that up as well. She called him out by asking him how he dared to bring another chick into their bed. The ugliest side of all of this was that he also manipulated her by calling her crazy, only because she wanted to leave him. In another song, I Get So Scared, she exposed a very emotional side of herself and mentioned how she didn't think she'd ever be able to forget or unlove him. He broke her heart. The two had met on the sets of the movie The Last Song in 2009, and sparks flew between them on screen and off screen. Shortly after the filming ended, they started dating. The news came out when the two were caught saying goodbye to each other by the actor Alex Emanuel. He called the moment a scene out of a movie and described how Miley seemed taken by the Aussie. Well, it seems all the glitters wasn't gold and it left the pop singer in a very traumatized state. One would think that after all this, she'd have the sense to call it quits for sure. But it's true when they say love is blind because they got back together again and even got re-engaged at the start of 2016. She wanted to get rid of all the previous negative narratives the public was selling and was happy to tell everyone that she was very much in love. In 2017, the world was blessed with the song Malibu, right after which they tied the knot in a private ceremony. Their on-again, off-again drama was so public by then that it seemed no one believed they'd stayed together for long. The media had a field day with their situation and, to be fair, they didn't exactly keep anything on the down low either. Liam filed for divorce, stating that it was over irreconcilable differences. It seemed at the time that it had also come as a surprise to Miley. She didn't expect it all to be done in such a quick way. In 2019, before the divorce was finalized, the single Slide Away indicated that she believed they were older now, not kids that had met when they were teenagers. And while people change and outgrow each other, it was obvious that Miley's heart had not yet healed. The Plastic Hearts album was a reflection of her marriage, and it seemed as if she was going through seven degrees of separation. She wrote Angels Like You, in which she specifically mentions how he would always bring her flowers. Coincidence? Not really. She also held herself accountable in that song for having put up with the wrong person and for not being what he needed her to be. Even her song, WTF Do I Know, was about him. She took a dig at Liam by stating that she never missed him. And even though she thought she'd stay in love until death, it wasn't the case. She confirmed this while in an interview with Howard Stern and said she's not stuck in the past, but rather uses her emotions as inspiration for her songs. Flowers is her way of finally accepting their ending meant one thing only, good riddance. So from putting out all her feelings via her music to making sure the world knows about her ex-husband's cheating ways, these are all the clues Miley Cyrus gave us of Liam cheating before Flowers came out.